You gonna help me make some beds? Yeah, we're gonna make some beds. Okay. In this video, we're gonna be taking a ton of our sewing scraps and making them into scrappy dog and cat beds that you can donate to your local animal shelter. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Christine, and today we are going to be transforming our scraps into a really, really feel-good project. So this first came about uh, several years ago when I read a Facebook post posted by my local animal shelter. They were overflowing with dogs and they were in desperate need of bedding. So they posted on Facebook asking for any towels and sheets and things like that. And I had heard about um, you know this idea of taking your scraps and making them into dog beds, but it was kind of like this moment where the two connected and knowing that I have an abundance of sewing scraps, this was the perfect project and I've been making beds, uh, you know, every couple of months for them. I'll make up a dozen to eight, eight to 10 beds and drop them off there. And it is, it's so, it's such a feel good project because the volunteers just are like, so grateful and thankful for the beds that you can really tell that they desperately need them. And it's just nice. Like you think about these dogs who don't have a home, um, you know, getting like a special new bed and being a little bit, you know, hopefully more comfortable there. It really is a feel good project. And I also think that this would be a really fun project if you have kids at home or, or you know, kids to entertain. I feel like this could be an interesting project. They could help you stuff the beds. Um, if they're, you know, maybe practicing learning how to use scissors or even a rotary cutter, they might even be able to help you I uh, cut up the scraps into smaller pieces for the stuffing. So that could be a great opportunity for kind of an aspiring sewist to, you know, learn and sharpen their, their cutting skills. So I think it's a great project all around and I'm excited to walk through a tutorial here today, um, walking through how we do it. So for supplies, obviously, we're gonna use our sewing scraps. And I pretty much get to the point where I have two full bags. So I have a large bag, and then I'll have like a smaller grocery bag that I like start filling because the big one is overflowing. And that's sort of my indication that, okay, it's time to make some beds. So you'll wanna have a good amount of scraps that you're ready to do something with. So the, the beds come together in two parts. The first part that we're gonna need is the actual bag, the, the outer bed that is sort of like a pillowcase and actually, um, I wrote a blog about this process and someone uh, commented saying that she was using pillowcases and just stuffing them with her old scraps. So I thought that was a really good idea as well. So essentially what we're gonna be making is an outer bag in a couple different sizes, which I will share. Um, and then we're gonna stuff them with our scraps. So the thing about these scraps is in order to make the dog beds uh, a bit more comfortable and not lumpy, is we take our scraps. So like this, for example, is a scrap I just pulled from my bag, but you can see it's not enough, obviously, for me to do anything with, but it's really long and big. So what we need to do is cut up our scraps into between two to four inch squares. Doesn't have to be exact at all, uh, but that's probably the most time consuming part of this project is really um, you know, getting our scraps into like a stuffing. And how I go about doing that, there's, you know, several different ways. So of course you have your scissors, you could use your rotary cutter. Um, what I have been using now is this Texi cutter that I have. So this is a, um, it's an automatic, it's battery powered. So it has this battery here and um, let's see. It's an automated cutter. So 
this is what I use to cut up my scraps. I know that on Amazon, there are other, um, some of these electric cutters. So this is definitely the fastest way. The second fastest way is with your rotary cutter. And of course, scissors work just fine. So for our sizes, so I actually contacted my local shelter and asked them in advance if there were any particular sizes that they needed or wanted. And they told me whatever size I had, they would love to have. So you might uh, maybe wanna call your local shelter and ask them as well. The sizes that I ended up making are four different sizes. I'll also post them below. The smallest one for uh, cats and kittens are uh, 12 inches by 16 inches. And then the small size is 19 by 23 and the medium about 23 by 30 inches. And then the large, uh, you know, about 30 inches by 40, even a little bit bigger. So the main thing here is that these sizes are approximate and none of my beds are the same size, to be honest. I just make them with the scraps I have and sort of get them remotely in this these dimensions, but really any size is gonna work just fine. So now that we have the overview, now let's look at how I start this process. So here I have my two bags of scraps. So I have a lot of scraps, they're all different sizes. So they can range from like a little seam allowance strip to like a larger portion of fabric. So usually what I do is I start by separating my scraps by the small and the larger. If I really was organized, and I might do this next time, is I might actually have two separate bags, and one I just keep my little scraps, and one I keep the larger scraps, or it would be really handy to actually cut your scraps into the, the smaller sizes as you go. But if you're like me, and you just kind of want to do your sewing and put the scraps to the side, there's a little bit of a sorting process that we have to do before we really start. So what I like to do is just take my scraps and sort them into two different piles. So at this point, I have about half of my bag emptied. So I still have quite a few scraps in here. What I've gone ahead and done is try to put all of the like seam allowance scraps and already small scraps in this one bag. And then what I have here in the center are the scraps that need to be cut up. So this is not gonna make very good stuffing, but it's gonna make great stuffing once it's you know kind of chopped up. So here in the middle, I have my first batch of scraps that I'm going to cut into smaller pieces. And then off to the side here, I have pieces of larger scraps. So these are, for example, this piece is quite large. And so any of my larger scraps, I'm actually going to take them and almost quilt them together. So in a patchwork style, and that is what's going to form the outer part of our dog beds. So we kind of have two parts going here. We have our stuffing and then we have our larger scraps. So I've set aside my larger ones and I'm going to now just get through this stash of cutting up the stuffing because that's what I have the most of. So I'm going to cut these up and start filling this bag and then I can finish emptying my largest bag of scraps and kind of work through the, the stash that way. So I'm gonna start cutting. So the really the, the key is, is to cut up our scraps into small, you know, small parts. So a lot of these are like seam allowance trimmings, um, but you know, like little pieces basically. Um, you know, even this isn't, isn't so small, but you want it to feel like soft and movable so that it's just not like a bunch of heavy fabric kind of like clumped in corners of the bed. And we're just going to start trimming. So I, oh, this is super long. Okay. So I just kind of actually 
probably stand up, but I take my, my cutter and I just kind of start feeding things through. Okay, so I've done round one of my cutting and I have this whole bag filled with my little scraps. So I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit closer. So see how I've just, you know, they're not perfect in any way, but I've just cut up the scraps into small-ish pieces and I've already filled this entire bag and I've only gotten through just that first little bit of scraps that I have. So I still have this whole bag to get through, but here I have all of these larger sized scraps. So what I'm gonna go, um, go forward just a little bit and do is I'm gonna start creating the outer part of my dog bags. So what I like to do is just go through these larger scraps that I've set aside. So this is, if you remember, I made the teddy bear vest and I got this fabric in Madrid. So I've been, um, I knew I had this scrap in here and I knew that it was gonna make a really, really nice uh, part of a dog bed. And then all I really am doing is just kind of assessing, like pulling out the larger pieces. So this is like a large piece of a French terry. So this is gonna make a really soft bed. And I just sort of start to pull apart the large pieces that I'm gonna use to patchwork my bed, the outer bed together. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'll show you how I kind of piece these together. So here you can see, I'm just piecing together these two large navy blue. And then I have this little denim piece that fits right here. And then I have another denim. Actually, this is probably just this itself is probably a pretty good size. So I just have my tape measure here. Um, oh. And let's just measure. So this is would be about 23 by about 25 or so. So that's gonna make um, you know an okay medium sized bed. And so to do this one, Owen, you must move. Um, all I'm gonna do is just sew these two pieces together here. So right sides together, but there's really no right or wrong. So I'm gonna sew this piece and then I'll add this piece. So you really, there's no right or wrong here. You just kind of patchwork your pieces together until you make a large enough single piece of fabric. And we're, for each bed, we're gonna need a top and a bottom. I think Owen might be telling me that he wants a new dog bed. <laughs> I'm thinking that this first dog bed might need to be for him. So this is what I have so far from those first seams that I did. Now what I'm gonna do, I think I'm going to just build this out a little bit bigger. So all I'm gonna do is just keep adding scraps. So I'll probably, um, add a little bit more this way just to make it uh, a little bit more um, uh, like more of a rectangle. So I'm going to add another piece here and add another piece here and then I'll have one side kind of patchworked together. Okay, so now what I have is one large piece and I sewed together the second large piece with this teddy bear. So I roughly measured them to be the same size. So I'm just now laying them right sides together and you can see that it's totally uneven. So I will probably... <laughs> so what I might go um, ahead and do is just trim these to make it a little bit easier to sew them right sides together. But what I'm gonna do is sew these into a rectangle along three sides, leaving one side open because this is where we're going to put the stuffing in. Okay, 
so I've sewn the three sides and you can tell they're not perfect. Like this is not perfection sewing. Um, it's just getting it done and it's a little messy. So now I can turn my bag, my outer bag, right sides out. And I'm just going to kind of uh, push out the corners just a, a little bit. You notice like I didn't even trim the corners or the seam allowance or anything because that seam allowance is just gonna add a little bit of extra fluffiness inside. So now I have my full bag with an opening here at the top. Um, so that's the two sides looking pretty good. So now at this point, we can add the stuffing inside of our outer bag and make this into a bed. So I found that the easiest way to do this, if you're working alone, is to grab yourself a chair. And what I do is I take my bed and I just drape it over the, the back of the chair and then this gives me a nice opening. Then I take my scraps, so these are my uh, chopped up scraps, and I just start filling the bag. Um, and so it kind of, there's no real, uh, you know, amount that I would say, really, I just fill them until I feel like that's really a nice comfortable bed that I would, um, you know, I would, that feels comfortable to me. So you just want to stuff them until they feel uh, nice and soft to, to lay on. Probably a little bit more. I might actually use this whole bag, um, I think, almost. Okay, I think that's probably going to be enough. So I'll just kind of try to pick up some of the scraps and sort of shake this and see. Yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to put all these in. So that whole bag gave me one bed. So now that I have my bag filled, I'm going to just uh, lay it down on the floor and just double check that the stuffing, when I kind of distribute it out, that it's, it's a soft enough bed. So we'll just pop it. So all I'm doing is just kind of getting it kind of arranged and feeling like, oh yeah, that's gonna be a nice soft bed. And so the very last, here comes the tester here. Um, okay, Owencito, yeah, we just have to finish it, okay? Oh, oh my goodness, I can't. I'm never gonna get this done. He just won't let me finish. So now that we have the bed stuffed to the, the right amount of softness that we want, the very last thing to do is to close up our last seam. So all I'm going to do is just literally fold under, um, you know, a, this is about maybe um, a, about an inch or so, just really because this fabric is kind of, uh, it's kind of a little bit more difficult. So I do have my pins here. I'm just gonna kind of go and just fold this under um, and then give it a couple pins. So again, you know, this whole project, this is not like award-winning sewing by any means, um, but it definitely does the job. And so all we're really doing is just, um, you know, getting this closed and so that all the stuffing will stay inside. And then all I'm going to do is just take this to my machine and I'm gonna to top stitch this closed. Okay, and voila, our dog bed is done. I actually really like these colors and then it has the teddy bear on the one side. So yeah, this is our dog bed. I think that I'm going to test it out with Owen now and see how he likes it. What do you think, big boy? Look. You want the soft side? Look, this is your new bed. Yeah, that's for you. Can you shake? Shake. Good boy, good boy. Down. Good boy. That's your new bed, okay? 
All right, so I'd say that this bed is a hit. I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next video. And let me know below if you have any questions at all. Okay, bye.